Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. So we're gonna be doing an energy shift reading today. Uh, Mercury, as of yesterday, moved into Pisces on February 3rd. I wanted to do the energy shift reading yesterday, but my energy got dragged down. A lot of you have been feeling that because we're already in the pre-shadow retrograde energy of Mercury. So if you've been feeling tired, a little lethargic, that's probably why, because of all the movement with Mercury. When Mercury moves a lot, or it's got some transitions going on, especially with retrograde energy, that just tends to happen across the board, okay? Just so you guys know. So Mercury is now in Pisces. Venus is still in Pisces. On the 5th, the moon moves into Cancer. Between the 5th and the 7th is going to be a really interesting time. So this energy reading is going to be including that because that, we have Mercury, Venus, and Pisces, moon in Cancer, and Neptune's also in Pisces. So we got a lot of water energy going on with a lot of this earth energy from Capricorn and Taurus still at work. And then <laughs> on the seventh, the full moon goes into the full moon, excuse me, the moon goes into Leo and then Venus goes into Aries. It's like, we're going to have a quick shift from water to fire. And then the full moon, depending on where you are, is going to be on the eighth or the ninth, again, depending on where you are in the world. Okay. If you're Pacific time, it's going to be, I think like 11 something at night on February 8th something like that. So like I said, quick shift from water to fire with all this earth energy still at play, right? Um, you probably have already been feeling a little sentimental. You probably already been feeling a little bit more considerate of other people. Like, you know, maybe you're thinking about people that you're not really talking to, right? You could even be experiencing that already. Like, oh, I wonder how they're doing. You're like, oh, I wonder if they still think about me. Like, <laughs> you know, you could probably be in that mode a little bit. Your dreams are probably taking on a very interesting uh, angle to them, or they've probably got a lot more um, weird <laughs> with Pisces on top of Aqua, with the sun in Aqua. So between the 5th and the 7th, I just want to talk about some of the planetary stuff, and then I'll get into the reading, just so you guys are aware of like what's going on. Uh, and I'm going to be doing the full moon and Leo video this week. I'll be posting the schedule either tonight or tomorrow morning, so you guys are aware. Don't worry. That's like going to be very soon, so we're, we're going to hear all about this again. Um but between the 5th and the 7th, there's a lot of sextiles being created between all this Piscean, Cancerian, Cancer being the, the moon and the north node, with Capricorn and Taurus. So sextiles create opportunities. So between the 5th and the 7th specifically, and then that will be carried into the full moon energy and locked in for the next month or so, a lot of opportunities will present themselves Um regarding relationships, regarding communication, and regarding business. A lot of opportunities. You might even find that there's going to be a lot of chances to apologize to people or to close things out or to have like those finite discussions. I suggest you take them. You don't have to. I just suggest you take them. So don't be surprised if you also get a lot of apologies or people just being like, you know, that thing I said to you a few years back, I don't know why I said that. Even if it's shit you're not even thinking about, it's stuff that, that's come back into their consciousness because of all this energy, okay? So we're in a really interesting time. Let's go ahead and pull some cards. I'll probably be doing another energy shift reading this week because we have such a shift from water to fire, even though we just shifted into all of this um water energy for the next couple of days okay all right so let's get started you know i'm being called to the crystal deck so let's go ahead and use that let's go ahead and use it you might be surprised that people will be um <clears throat> how do i say this not eager not eager uh more easily showing their emotional scars than normal i'll say it that way Any messages pertaining to this energy shift? Anything to be aware of pertaining to this energy shift? <laughs> it's so weird what they just showed me. Um, like a dunking? That's so weird. Uh, so since yesterday and up until most likely the seventh, like this like four day time span, it's going to feel like we've been quickly dipped in emotional water and then like we're going to be ripped out really fast. Yeah, the shift of fire energy is going to be interesting because Mars is in Sag, right? And then on the seventh, like on the on the seventh, we have two changes from water to fire from the moon in the moon from Cancer to Leo and then Venus Pisces to Aries. So then we got three fire energies going on and Mars is creating squares with the water energy right now. Square is like a, a tug of war energy. It usually creates conflict. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Anyway, let's keep going. 
Any messages pertaining to this energy shift? Anything the collective needs to be aware of pertaining to this energy shift? And you know this water energy, even though we've been quickly like dipped into it, I think it's really helped lighten people up a little bit from like Capricorn pressure cooker we've all been feeling. Uh, it's almost like, it's almost like that, that like that cold, long drink of water after like a long hike, you know, and like maybe you forgot your water, you're like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> and you finally get back to the car and you can't drink it fast enough. It kind of feels a little bit like that. And you just kind of feel that like, ugh, like just that intense um, sati satiation, satiation. Interesting. And I feel like once we get pulled into that fire energy, it's like, I think everyone's going to feel restless. I think everyone's going to get a burst of energy. Yeah, interesting. Okay, it's it almost feels like a reset. Yeah, it almost feels like a reset. Like we've been hiking, hiking, hiking for way too long, maybe even lost in the woods. And we finally get back to the car. We can't drink that water fast enough. We can't like relish in that moment enough. And then on to the next, you know? Interesting. Any mess? I know I don't have any cards out yet. Any messages pertaining to this energy shift for the collective? Okay. Ooh, we got four of pentacles. Interesting. Capricorn energy. Oh, latching. What is this? This is like holding on to shit. Hoarding? Why did I just hear hoarding? Oh. The moon and cancer. So yeah, can cancer and energy, for those who are not aware of, it, it it can lean towards like hoarding energy. Cancers tend to like hold on to like a lot of their material stuff. Like they, we just do. Uh, I'm a cancer rising, guilty, totally guilty. I've worked on it over the years, but it's just a cancerian thing, right? Like cancers do that because they like to provide. It's like they always like to be ready. It's like, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Well, what if we need this? What if we need that? So it's like to always have something on hand. It's just a Cancerian thing. Anyway, you might find that you're um, wanting to save and hoard over the next few days, especially um, especially like around the 7th. I feel like someone's holding on to something, though. Like um, someone's actually intentionally holding on to something. This could just be saving money. Like saving money for a rainy day, waiting for that green light of, okay, now I can spend it. Oh, oh, perfect. Now this is exactly what I want to invest in. I feel, yeah, I feel a little bit of that energy. Yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Yeah, these two energies together, it's like someone is waiting for the perfect time to invest in something. I've been saving this. I've been hoarding this. I've been keeping this to myself. And I'm getting restless because I want to just go. I don't want to be in this constant like save, 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 reserve, 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 reserve. I want to start progressing into something or I want to go and tell this person this or I want to go invest in this. But someone's waiting for the green light, waiting for the perfect time. Then they are pentacles. So to me, that says money. Um, that can also indicate work or just energy, right? Any other messages for the collective pertaining to this energy shift? They keep telling me hoarding and I just heard hoarding your feelings. That's weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know. How do you hoard your feelings? I mean, you can suppress your feelings. How do you hoard feelings? You just keep collecting feelings and then you just hold on to them? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's such a that's such a weird concept. Hoarding your feelings. That's got to make sense to some of you. I'm like, it's kind of cracking me up. Wow. Okay, we've got only pentacles so far, guys. Two of pentacles in reverse Capricorn energy. This is struggling to make a decision. So hold. Okay, hoarding, hoarding, reserving, holding on to shit, whether it's money or hoarding feelings. Again, very strange and funny to me. Um, or energy, waiting for the perfect time to invest. Someone's getting really restless in this mode. But at the same time, it's like they're not sure. They're not sure. They know they're waiting for some kind of like sign or green light. But in the meantime, they're really struggling to just stay in this position. They're really kind of just, I don't even want to say stagnant because they want to move forward. They want to progress. They want to invest in whatever it is they want to invest in. 
but they're they're not doing it like they're still waiting for some kind of big grand sign of sorts i mean it, this energy will present opportunities like no no question when i was writing down all the sextiles like oh my god there's a lot of sextiles going on i think there's like four or five that's a lot that's a lot let's keep going i mean technically they could just i feel like they could just go but they want some kind of grand sign or like grand confirmation okay don't know if that's the best op well yeah big sign <laughs> high priestess in reverse piscean energy good old gemini for me as a reader they're waiting for some big grand confirmation from the universe that's literally what they're waiting for they could technically just invest in whatever it is they want to invest in they could but they're like no I'm not going to make a decision until the universe shows me. I'm not going to make a decision until it is undeniable, some bi big grand sign of things for me to do it. It's very funny. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Anything else about this energy shift the collective needs to be aware of? Any other messages for this energy shift that the collective needs to be aware of? Got two more here. Three more. Okay. Wow. Waiting for the big grand reveal to make a decision. Th this, <laughs> these two cards together, it, it's it's explicitly um, a download, a vision, an intuitive hit. It's a sign from the universe. Towers can be sudden events or quite literally sudden realizations. So the tower, scorpionic energy. And then we have, wow, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, Jupiter Energy, and then we have the Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy. Somebody can have Jupiter Scorpio placement, not necessarily. Um, just felt that with these cards. Yeah, someone is waiting for this confirmation, and until they get one, they're not having any movement. They're not progressing. They're not. Overall energy, we do have three of wands, Aries energy. This is so weird to me. They know they know they need to move. It's like they can see the next step in front of them, right? Do you see that? Three of wands is usually that. You can like usually see your ships coming to you or you just know what's ahead and it's just you're waiting for that next step, that next thing. They know. They know what they want to invest in. They know there needs to be some kind of movement, but they could go about it in one of two ways. And to make that decision, they're quite literally relying on the universe and they're going to allow themselves to stay stagnant until they get that grand confirmation. Now, it's great to look for signs. It's great to get those confirmations from the universe. That's always a nice little handy tool. But the universe can't tell you what to do all the time, right? <laughs> right? We have free will for a reason. We have this human experience for a reason. And we do have to kind of make decisions sometimes without the universe being like, this way here, yes. <laughs> Don't step that way, step this way. They can't, do, the universe can't do that for us like constantly, right? I'm just, I'm hoping this person doesn't fall into that kind of a trap here of just, I'm just not gonna move because the universe hasn't given me a 100% clear sign. Um, and you know, sometimes that is the, how we learn. That is how the universe kind of tests us. Like, can you make that decision on your own without us helping you constantly along the way? Wow. Okay. So let's break this down. Let's look at the four of pentacles and see what's being hoarded. It might be different for everybody, but they were saying hoarding feelings, hoarding emotion. Again, I don't know how you do that. Like, it's very funny. Uh, yeah, we'll do gilded. Turn <clears throat> of the Four of Pentacles. Turn of the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing another energy shift reading um, once we get all this fire energy. And you know what's interesting? I just realized we got a lot of water and we have a lot of earth here and that's exactly what's at play in the next few days. So I have four of pentacles. <laughs> I 
Four of Pentacles in a verse. Uh, hoarding the feelings, and again, just wait, just hoarding the feelings, energy, investment, money, whatever it is, waiting to release it because they're really restless to actually progress, but they don't want to progress until they get some big grand sign. Okay. So I have Four of Pentacles. Oh, now we have a character, Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Could this be fire or water? I kind of feel for this person. They want to spring into action. They really want to spring into action, um, into investing in something. For some, it's actually investing in a person. For some, it is definitely that. <sighs> the waiting for a grand sign is just really bothering me because I feel like it's turning into a crutch for this person. Again, the universe is there to support us. Our guides are there to support us. Um, but I feel like this person already deep down in their subconscious knows what they're supposed to do. But before they do it, they want that extra like pat on the back or like 100% guarantee from the universe. And they can't, and the universe can't always give us that, right? Time about four of pentacles in reverse. Did I? Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, I thought it one flipped over. There we go. Tell me about four of pentacles in reverse. Tell me about four of pentacles. Excuse me. Yeah, they really, <laughs> they really want to spring into action. Tell me about four of pentacles. Someone's feeling a little left behind here. Now we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra. Could also be air or water with the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Could also be earth or fire. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo. A lot of Virgo, Cappy energy. Jesus. This is a lot of earth. Overall energy, we do have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there it is. The Two of Cups. Cancerian energy, soulmate energy. I, I really feel like someone wants to invest in something and that involves another person. Okay, uh, we do have the four of pentacles with the seven of pentacles indicating that the three of pentacles energy is at play. I mean, we got almost all the pentacle cards, so <laughs> they're all kind of at play at this point. Um, but three of pentacles is like that merging teamwork energy. Someone wants to build with someone or invest with someone, whether that's a business idea, a project, a relationship, whatever it is, it includes another human being. And they're waiting for the green light to go and make this offer. Ah, whatever it is. Like I said, it could be purely business. Could be purely business. Uh, there does seem to be a friendship component here. These energies already know each other. These are not new energies. They, they are already familiar with each other. But they want a green light. They want a green light. And someone has retracted communication or communication has lessened because they're too busy trying to figure out what to do here. They're approaching really cautiously, too cautiously. They're approaching really slow on this, which is why they're kind of in a stagnant energy of like <laughs> hoarding, <laughs> hoarding energy, hoarding money, hoarding feelings, hoarding. Whatever they're hoarding, they're hoarding something energetically speaking. Uh, and the person that they want to deal with is a queen of wands energy. Someone who's very proactive, very on the go, has a lot of energy themselves. Um, also really good at manifesting. They could they could also be attractive if that applies. But the other individual, male or female, doesn't matter. But they're taking on a queen of swords and reverse energy. They're not really talking on this because they're being overly cautious. But by being overly cautious, they're not actually putting effort into it because they're they just want that confirmation from the universe. They want that confirmation from the universe. Just show me. Just show me. Just give me the hundred percent and I'll do it. <laughs> and I think the universe at this point is like. You need to just make that choice and have faith in yourself that you're making the right choice. Yeah, this might be a lesson for someone. And if they wait too long, I don't know. Could be a bit of a hard lesson here. But that's what's going on. That's what's going on with the hoarding anyway. Um, so let's look over here with the Two of Pentacles in a verse and the High Priestess in a verse. Of course, we're going to be clarifying the High Priestess because that's just begging to be clarified. Hi. I do Cosmic. The left behind feelings coming back. Um, the energy that's retracted communication or lessened communication, I think they just haven't reached out energetically as much as they used to, whether that's telepathically, via digital communication, or seeing the person in person, <laughs> whichever avenue that is. I just feel like they haven't been reaching out energetically as much. 
But this person, like I said, is always on the go. They're always doing shit, right? They're, they're Aries fire, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands does not sit still. I think this person is now starting to feel the pressure of like, oh, well, they're, they're off doing this, that, or the other. It's almost like because they've retracted their energy, the Queen of Wands is like taken off a little bit. And they're like, can I even catch up to them at this point? This, yeah, this person's feeling a little left behind and it's a little discouraging for them, but they just need to make a choice, right? Anyway, so let's look at the High Priestess in reverse. Talking about the High Priestess in reverse. So I'm at the High Priestess in reverse. Oh. Wow. Emperor. Mars energy. So Aries, Scorpio. It's also Taurus for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. And the Five of Swords. Aquarian energy. I just feel defeat with this. I really feel defeat with this. It's like waiting for this, <laughs> waiting for this reveal, whatever the green light is. I feel like if this person waits too long, they could end up really losing out on something here. Because I, I do feel like the universe is like, look, we, we can't give you all the answers. You, ha you have free will for a reason. You have your faith for a reason. Excuse me. It's about living life. You can't rely on the universe for everything. And I feel like someone's going to be left feeling very, very defeated here. Let's keep going. I just heard restraint. Well, I mean, this person is hoarding energy. Again, very weird way to say that, but they're hoarding energy, money, emotions. I feel like this person's about to just defeat themselves. So I'm at the High Priestess in reverse. So I'm at the High Priestess in reverse. Wow. So I'm at the High Priestess in reverse. It's funny, these cards are all, now these cards are coming out all sideways here because they're in that weird limbo state. So the cards that came out sideways, yeah. Ace of Cups and the Six, I mean, Ace of Cups, Jesus. <laughs> if that wasn't a psychic slip, Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. They both came out sideways. When cards come out sideways like that, especially they came out like this, especially like repeatedly, like right back to back like that. Uh, it just did it again. It just slipped out of my hand sideways. Uh, it's usually indicative that there's like quite a 50-50 going on here. And that's because this person's quite literally in limbo okay with themselves because they're too busy waiting on some kind of grand confirmation from the universe just defeating themselves they're kind of in anguish about this i don't think they're showing it very much but i think that's also why they've retracted their energy because they are kind of they're kind of in pain about this you know they've also got the nine of swords here that's that, that's definitely torture but the six of cups ace of swords there's definitely a soul connection going on here right we've also confirmed that with the two of cups energy and this queen of wands has kind of taken off a little bit right because the queen of wands doesn't sit still they're they're going they're living their life while the other person has retracted their energy and put themselves in more of a stagnant state this is having the truth about this kind of connection do i sever it do i go for it do i sever it do i go for it do i sever it do i go for it this person this person won't decide until the universe tells them overall energy we do have the queen of wands yeah <sighs> Again, I, I feel for this person. They're putting themselves in a trap. I mean, God, even if you look at the illustration here, does that not look like a trap that was set up? <laughs> right? But they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. Okay. So let's move on. We have the Tower, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. Let's look at the Tower. See what else we get off of that, if we get anything different. We might not, just being honest with you. I'm going to use Legacy. Ten of the Tower. 
Turn up the tower. Turn up the tower. Time at the tower. Wow. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then we have the Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. It could also be water or fire. This is wanting to approach somebody, wanting to approach with confidence, wanting to approach with love uh, to somebody who's very independent. Queen of Wands is usually a very independent person. Time about the tower. This is what this person wants. This is what this emperor wants to do. Time about the, the tower. I'm an emperor. Time about the tower. I just feeling. I just keep getting this feeling of trying to catch up, though. Time about the tower. Time about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Got a couple other cards out here. Yep, High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. So this is wanting to come out of isolation. This is wanting to come out of loneliness. Wanting to come out of loneliness. This person is feeling a major lack here. As much as they've been hoarding, it, they, don't fe they don't feel... What's the word I'm looking for? How do I say this? As much as they've been hoarding, it's like they 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 aren't sharing that with anybody. You know what I mean? So it's like if they've been hoarding emotions, they're not sharing it with anybody. That makes you feel very alone. If you're just hoarding emotions, you got no one to share it with, right? Um, if you're hoarding uh, money and you don't have anyone to share it with, that leans towards like, oh, so you're just kind of alone in all of this right there's just a sense of loneliness and being left behind thank you with the five of pentacles it's also kind of an abandonment energy they're they're trying to outrun that energy they don't want to feel that way anymore and it's because this queen of wands energy has outpaced them because they've been too busy staying a little stagnant regret like pulling their energy back because they've been waiting for some kind of grand sign of what to do and deep down they already know what to do but they just want that confirmation of that they're doing the right thing but at the end of the day they need to have faith in themselves to make that decision on their own overall energy Magician in reverse, mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini, it could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, divine masculine energy, three of swords, Libra energy, and then of course, <laughs> Jesus, Queen of Wands, the third Queen of Wands to come out here. This person is owning Queen of Wands energy like it's no one's business. Um, Aries could also be fire or water. This person is pretty heartbroken, I would say. Uh, they are suffering. They've got the five of swords, the nine of swords, now the three of swords. They're suffering. They're suffering. With Magician in Reverse, they're having a hard time uh, creating. They're having a hard time um, just catching up to this person in the way that they, they want to. They feel like this person's like out of their clutches at this point. And it's really sad because it's like they were holding back. <laughs> they were holding back from what they actually wanted to do and what they wanted to invest in with this person. And so this person just did their thing progressed and now this person's like oh shit well i was just waiting for a grand sign from the universe to show me it was the right thing to invest in this person but now this person is like nowhere nearby <laughs> or now this person is out of my reach to actually invest in but like i said these two energies definitely know each other definitely know each other they could even be um friends page of pentacles is the friendship card just saying now with this tower moment it's realizing this person is out of their clutches causing this person to become even more stagnant wow this was so not what i was expecting it to be <laughs> just being honest this was so not what i was expecting it to be um do you know there's anything else i need to clarify okay i'll clarify the ace of swords that's attached to the six of cups because ace of swords is also about truth it's also about communication or severing or forging connections right and like i said this person's like 
do I, do I, do I go for this person? Do I not go for this person? Do I go for this person? Do I not go for this person? And all the while they're in this misery of trying to decide and in limbo waiting for the universe to tell them what to do. This person kind of got away. Okay. But let's look at the Ace of Swords because that will just tell truth. I, using um, the Norman deck here. So with the Ace of Swords, <clears throat> Tell with the Ace of Swords, sorry, I'm getting a download. I'm also getting a pulling, oh, I feel like this Queen of Wands is feeling this. I feel like the Queen of Wands is feeling a pull. They might even get random um, thoughts about somebody. Or dreams about some it's like yeah they're getting pulled on I, they're probably getting pulled on by this emperor um this queen of wands is very confident they're very confident in in what they want and in how to go about things i feel like when this person retracted their energy the queen of wands bounced for some not for all i feel like this queen of wands is like oh i don't i don't need to waste my time <laughs> i don't need to waste my time this per this person is like is not investing this person's not investing. Uh, this person is not like showing up. I, I, my, my, my time and energy is priceless. My time and energy is priceless. Is what I just heard. Too late. For some, there's news coming out that this Queen of Wands might have actually been approached by another individual, leaving this emperor very defeated. Like, oh, it is too late. Anyway, let's get out of that. Okay, time about the Ace of Swords. Time about the Ace of Swords. I might do a second spread. Oh, we got the bouquet <laughs> with the Queen of Swords. The bouquet is about beauty, its gifts, its blessings. Um, it's also about maturity. Let's see what else wants to come out with that so we can get more of a definitive message off of this. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Heart surgery? What? <laughs> I just, sometimes they give me the most random messages. Heart surgery. I don't know if that's metaphorical. Yes. Okay. They're saying yes. Okay. Um, okay. It's very, um, I feel like that's more for this queen of wands. I feel like this queen of wands has come out of a major transition. Yeah. Yes. They're saying yes. This queen of wands energy, whether it's you or someone you're connecting with, uh, has come out of a major transition. It's kind of like they're in their glory is what I'm getting. Like they're in some kind of new, um, glorious beginning sort of energy and so that's why they have they're, they're just so confident right they're not they're not tainted it's like they've been newly cleansed thank you they've been newly cleansed or had some kind of metaphorical emotional surgery <laughs> okay spirit I don't know how else to say that like a major healing okay just major healing it was like heart surgery major healing they might even had some like heart major heart chakra stuff going on anyway Time about the Ace of Swords. Sometimes they're so funny with how they talk to me. Time about the Ace of Swords. Oh, the key. With the Eight of Pentacles. The truth that this Emperor is coming into is that basically this person is exactly the key to what it is they want. This person is kind of like, how do I say this? It's more than a key because there's also an, an energy of like a gift. Like this per this Queen of Wands was a part of this Emperor's life for a reason. And that was to basically unlock whatever it was they wanted to invest in. Deep down, they knew that. Deep down, they knew that, but that wasn't enough. That They didn't have enough faith in what they already knew. They didn't have enough faith in themselves to make that kind of a decision. Even though they knew this Queen of Wands was like, oh, yes, this person's in my life to help me get here. 
those persons in my life to help me elevate or to help me get to that next milestone or that next thing that I want for myself, but that wasn't enough for them to feel confident to fully invest in this person. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh. We have House and the Child. Uh, we have a King of Cups energy, and then we have a Knight of Swords energy. It's interesting, both of these are fours. I just noticed, which is about stability. The house of the child, that's basically like a new home environment or even like a move. So it's kind of interesting these came out like this. Um, that could be why this person was like, maybe not wanting to invest so much because there's a move involved. That could be definitely the case for some. That can definitely be the case for some. Yeah, I feel like almost helping this person mature was also going to be a big part of it as well. This emperor might be stuck in their um, child and home. That's just explicitly what these cards are about. Just giving all the different meanings of these cards and just the intuitive messages I'm picking up from that. But yeah, child's also about new. I, I do feel more of like a new home or new environment was involved in some of this. New environment could also be new work environment, okay? Over energy, we do have the bear with the ten of wands. <laughs> the bear is about resilience. It's about strength. It's also about possessive obsessiveness. This person, like I said, has been like hoarding energy money emotions pick one or all the above that is definitely bare energy it takes a lot to do that it takes a lot of willpower uh to do that but at the end of the day they didn't have to do that yeah underneath that look we've got coffin that's putting an end to that they didn't have to do that they didn't have to do that oh this is a sad realization for this person okay i was hoping for i was really hoping for something more uplifting that was that was kind of bumming me out i'm not gonna lie Definitely kind of bumming me out a little bit. But so that's energy shift spread or reading here. I, I really want to do another one, if I'm being totally honest. I feel like there's more that needs to come out just beyond like very 3D stuff. Yeah, I kind of want to do another one. Okay, we'll do another one. We'll do another one. We'll do another one. I have a lot to do today, but I'm, I, I feel like I should. So let's do it. Oh, let me get a sip of water. Where is it? Mm. yeah guys when it comes to like confirmations it's great when we get those we can't rely on those and this is a case of someone relying on that when deep down they already knew the truth they already knew the truth they just didn't have enough faith in themselves to, to just do it they were they were kind of scared they were kind of scared and they're like okay universe like if you really want me to do this like show me and the universe is like uh figure this shit out on your own <laughs> We can't hold your hand the whole way. <laughs> mm. But, you know, sometimes it's like that. Okay. Oh, second spread, second spread, second spread. Um, am I feeling the shaman deck? I'm Actually, I'm kind of feeling the spirit animal deck. Oh, this is, okay, this is definitely going to be a, a different kind of a reading. I haven't, I haven't done, I haven't used this deck in this way ever before, I don't think. Okay, let's go for it. Any messages for the collective pertaining to this energy spread? Energy spread, energy reading. Yeah, I've never used this deck like this. Feels right though. Any messages for the collective for this energy shift? I'm seeing the swan card. We'll see if it comes out, but that's what they're showing me. The swan card is, it's kind of like that phrase, uh, still waters run deep, right? If someone's not saying very much, there's a hell of a lot going on beneath the surface. I mean, even if someone talks a lot, there's usually more stuff going on underneath, but for the person that is like silent, and again, we were kind of getting that in the first spread of like retracting energy, there's so much going on under the surface, especially emotionally, like that, that totem in particular especially in this deck and that's when they're showing me is all about emotional depths and emotional turmoil or like what's going on internally on an emotional um, scale and I, do they have problems sharing their feelings i guess they do i guess they do i mean i feel like this person actually is very communicative but 
They might just talk more about like surface stuff. They might not talk about emotions. They might, yeah, yeah, they're saying yes. They talk more about surface stuff, whoever is in this energy. This is a, this is a crazy download. They always have a lot, lot going on emotionally. They never talk about it. They're always talking about other surface stuff. Okay. Any messages pertaining to this energy shift? I just noticed it was on the bottom. The swan. <laughs> we'll see if it comes out. We'll see if it comes out. Any messages pertaining to this energy shift? Oh, oh, <laughs> parrot spirit, watch your words. Oh, shit. 45 breaking down to a nine. Words are very powerful. They are. If you guys are engaging in negative self-talk or just gossiping or anything like that, just keep in mind that that's the energy that is like you're inviting around yourself and energy just feeds upon itself, right? So if you're inviting negative shit by gossiping or like being a negative self-talk, it's just going to add more and more of that around you. But same with positive energy, right? So like if you speak positively about someone or about yourself, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel more confident versus feeling bogged down. So be mindful of that. I do feel conflict here. So keep in mind also with this energy, we do have Venus square Mars for the next few days. That can create conflict within romantic relationships because of where Venus and Mars are. Venus is in Pisces, Mars is in Sag, okay? Sag is very blunt, especially with Mars and Sag you guys have been experiencing <laughs> in your day-to-day -day lives for the last like month or so. Uh, and then with Venus and Pisces, that's very like sensitive, sentimental, romantic, gentle energy. So like imagine those two energies like colliding, right? That can create a lot of conflict and one person not feeling that hurt, feeling more like agitated, the other person feeling like devastated. So keep that in mind if you're like, involved in romantic situations. I definitely, they're, they're giving me both of those messages. So just be mindful about the energy you're putting out as far as like words are concerned and how that might be affecting you energetically, but also keep in mind of any conflicts that might be arising in romantic relationships because I feel tearing down of other people with this. I definitely feel that, but I feel that for both of those messages. Any other messages? Oh, Cat spirit, claim your independence. 13 breaking down to a four. This is a great energy. This is a very stable energy. It always reminds me of the four of wands, actually, because four of wands, yes, you can have that with another person, but you can have a lot of stability on your own and you can feel very good about it and people can celebrate your independence. You know what I mean? Um, I feel someone wanting to break away from a situation with this. To speak better about yourselves, to be more positive in the way you think about yourselves and talk about yourselves, that's going to give you the fuel and confidence you need to be more independent and to be very self-assured in the decisions you're making. And at the same time, I keep feeling this like this tearing apart of a relationship or relationships because someone it likes to tear someone down. Okay, let's keep going. Any other messages pertaining to this energy shift? Any other messages pertaining to this energy shift? Ooh. Any other messages pertaining to this energy shift? Uh oh. Oh, ho, ho, wow. That spirit, a rebirth is assured, energy of five, and then flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between, 26 breaking down to an eight. So it's interesting that the transition card is the last one out after rebirthing here. Yeah, this is a total breaking away. It's like, I can see all the phases. Conflict, conflict, conflict. Oh, I can't be around this person. I can't be in this situation. It's creating conflict in my life. I'm going to break away and build myself up and try to become more confident, try to believe in myself more. Boom. Having that rebirthing. Okay, I'm there. I've made it to that state of independence and then moving on to a new cycle, but being in a transitionary period after the fact. Overall, we do have wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Oh boy. 64, a cyclical energy. So yeah, a major cycle is closing out here. A major cycle is closing out. So I definitely see like one... Um, 
big message here of, again, that positive self-talk, being more optimistic, getting away from people who want to tear you down or getting out of the habit of tearing other people down to become truly independent and truly confident and truly happy with yourself and happy with other people. That's leading to a major re, uh, a major rebirth and growth process. And then as that's happening, there's going to be a quick transition into a new cycle here. Okay. I definitely see that for one. And that could come in the form of breaking out of a relationship specifically, because I'm seeing that. I'm seeing, I'm definitely seeing that, like where someone is stuck in a relationship where they're getting torn down a lot by somebody and they're realizing they've either been too codependent or they just allow themselves to be a punching bag and then working on their own confidence and working on where those issues come from of, of engaging this behavior or allowing this to happen to themselves and really turning that around and going through major transformation themselves. But it is a very painful process, right? Oh boy. Okay. Glad I did a second spread. <laughs> Glad I did a second one. Oh my God. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to break down all of these. Definitely going to break down the parrot. Let's break down the parrot. And of course it's about words. So let's use honest truth deck. Where am I at? Okay. Just want to make sure I catch it before it makes the second video. Tell me about parrot spirit. Clyde. Hello, Parrot Spirit. Talking about Parrot Spirit. Let's see. We got one card out, but I just like, I'm so paranoid that I'm going to miss it. So, okay. It's just going to be like, what is that? Almost five more seconds. Okay. Almost there. Okay. All right. We're back. All right. So we have the moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. So truth being revealed. Truth being revealed. Tell me about parrot spirit. God, you know, bats and snakes have been, been coming up so much. Like just symbolically, I've noticed that with a lot of my messages I've gotten the last like two to three weeks, I've gotten a lot of stuff about snakes and bats. I've noticed that in a couple of the readings. Why was that important to mention? Tell me about parrot spirit. I don't know. That was weird. I don't know why they felt that they pushed me to say that. They pushed me to say that. I don't know why. Anyway, maybe that's symbolic for somebody out there. Talk about parrot spirit. Tell me more about parrot spirit. Justice in reverse, Libra energy, both major arcana, only major arcana so far in this spread. When major arcana come out, it's it's like a very significant overarching uh, life situation or event that's transpiring versus like, you know, getting a cold. I like, I don't know. I'm like trying to figure out how to say this. Like minor arcana more for like the day-to-day -day stuff. Major arcana more for like the big life events and changes. So this is very significant what's going on here for some of you. This could also indicate that someone has a moon and Libra placement. Again, not necessarily. Um, but moon in reverse with justice in reverse. There's, there's a major... Um, I'm getting selfishness at play, major selfishness at play going on here and sabotage. Again, revealing that, oh, maybe I'm doing myself a disservice by not thinking of myself in a positive way or doing negative self-talk, what have you, or realizing someone's been tearing me down the whole time, right? Time up, parrot spirit. No way. No way. So now we have temperance, Sag energy. I thought that what that's what this was. So the Queen of Wands in reverse, 
Twin Flame card, which is unique to this deck. Twin Flame, yes, it can mean counterpart, but it can also just mean um, affecting the soul or affecting on a soul level or an, relating to an ascension process. Factness in reverse is the negation of all of that, right? And then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. The fact that Temperance came out, I love that Temperance is here. I feel like there's some kind of like divine inter intervention going on here or some kind of like divine protection of like, hey, knock, knock, you need to pay attention to this energy or you need to pay attention to this. And we're trying to get you to see that this thing or this person is not healthy for you. Queen of Wands in reverse can be an energy that's very um, ingenuous. It can be very artificial energy or someone who's just very fake or very jealous. Um you know, honestly, it's very vill villainous like, <laughs> when it's in reverse. It's so it's someone who's just all about themselves and can be bratty, you know, male or female doesn't matter. With Twin Flame in reverse and Three of Pentacles in reverse, this is someone who really is like kind of goes against anyone's soul growth because they're so selfish and because they're so taking. OK, and like I said, there's something about them that's very fake or ingenuous. That's what's being revealed here. That's what's being revealed. Um, this could also be about working against yourself, right? Because you're doing so much negative self-talk. So just be mindful of that. Overall energy, we do have the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag, wow, and then the Hermit. Virgo energy. How do I get rid of this person? How do I get out of this? Now that I have this information, what do I do with this? And being a little stuck in that? Well, at the end of the day, it's about breaking away and being more confident, more independent from this person, right? Wow. Yeah, I needed to do a second spread. I totally needed to do a second spread. So let's go ahead and do um, Cat Spirit. <laughs> it's like, what is this called? All right, so let's do Radiant Wise. I guess I'll be clarifying all of them. I wasn't going to, but I don't know. It's getting juicy. Tell me about Cat Spirit. I feel like whoever this is, if this is someone else who's been tearing you guys down or tearing down someone you know, they've really pro prohibited this person's spiritual growth, like drastically. And if you've been doing this to yourself due to negative self-talk or negative self-thinking or gossiping or engaging with people like that, um, then you've gotten in your own way. Didn't mean to say that so bluntly. Sorry. <laughs> Tell me about cat spirit. Tell me about cat spirit. <laughs> death. Scorpionic energy. And it's so funny because the death card is the 13th major arcana and 13. So that's kind of interesting. Death is also a card about, yes, it's about major endings, but also rebirths, right? And what's the next card? Rebirth. So this independent phase is literally a bit that's where the big transformative energy is happening of recognizing how other people affect you, recognizing how negative self-talk and all of that, like self-manifestation, even in a negatory sense, affects you and going through that healing transformative energy of getting away from those tendencies or getting away from being around people like that or being like that yourself. OK, and working on where that comes from anyway, within yourself. Tell me more about cat spirit. A lot of you have already worked through this is also what I want to say. A lot of you, I think, have already gotten out of your death process or might be at the tail end of it. This dunking, sorry, they're giving me stuff. This dunking of... Intense water to intense fire uh, is actually a great period to, how do I say this? To close out your death process. Tell me about cat spirit. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Oh, wow. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy, and then, are you guys ready for this? Four of Wands, Aries energy, and the Sun, Leo. Oh, this is so cool. So as you guys are getting into this independent energy, remember I was saying it's like the Cat Spirit reminds me of the Four of Wands? 
because it is stability, but you can have this on your own. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is the energy that you guys are being ste stepping into after dealing with this energy of being a little bogged down in your death process, giving up on some things, addressing some of your wounds as a wounded warrior, and getting out of any fear-based tendencies or decision-making or behaviors that were there and rooted it in yourself, right? Or in this person who's dealing with this, take it as it resonates, because it could be about someone you're connecting to, it doesn't have to be about you. And then stepping into this, major independent energy, very confident in starting anew with the sun card. Let's see what else wants to come out. <coughs> Tell me more about cat spirit. Oh, that's interesting. Tell me more about cat spirit. What is this? Wow. Wow. Oh, I love it. Four of Cups, Cancerian energy. Two of Cups in reverse, also Cancerian. And then Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. You're no, after, after stepping into this, this beautifulness of stability within yourself and for yourself, uh, you are no longer interested in anything that's going to keep you from, from being connected to your higher self. No longer interested in it. No longer interested in this energy and what's really been doing you a disservice or anyone who is even if they are a soulmate <coughs> oh, hold on guys oh. even if they are a soulmate doesn't matter if they're not good for you they're not good for you not all soulmates are amazing for you 55 55 and i looked down on the phone you're no longer interested in that it's like, no, thank you. Overall energy, we do have Eight of Cups in reverse, which I think is really interesting. Piscean energy. Ooh. And then we have Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Two eights for the overall independent energy. Some of you guys are going to get back to work is kind of what I'm getting at with this. Getting back to work within yourself, getting back to being productive at your jobs, getting back to investing and working on the projects that are going to push you forward, okay? <clears throat> All right. So now we have Rebirth. Not super interested in this after clarifying this energy really interested in this because the flamingo spirit's literally about being in transition from point a to point b and i feel like this is just like major major um cycles within a bigger cycle right you go through that cycle of realizing how other people around you or how your own behavior has been inhibiting you you deal with that you go into this death process to be reborn in independence you deal with that and then you're in independence and a new cycle you deal with that and i feel like another cycle starts like almost instantly. I feel like this might be more about what we're going to be getting with this dunking from water to fire, like going into the fire energy or, and after that and after that. But let's go ahead and take a look. Let's look. Let's take a peek. Mm, I want a fun deck for this one. I don't know. I just, and just, it just screams like, let's have fun with this one. Um, no, I can't use that on YouTube, unfortunately. You know, let's do Santa Muerte. About flamingo spirit Talking about flamingo spirit Talking about flamingo spirit Talking about flamingo spirit Time about flamingo spirit. <laughs> I literally just heard things are good. <laughs> things are good. Time about flamingo spirit. Oh, like no cards want to come out. Time about flamingo spirit. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Ace. No, seven. I love this deck, but it is a little hard to read sometimes. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Okay. There, things are good. Enjoy it. 
things are good. Enjoy it. Don't be super eager. Once you get back to working on yourself and getting back to investing in your projects, just enjoy that time of investing in yourself. Don't try to like push things really fast, really far. Just enjoy it. Time about Flamingo Spirit. Oh, okay, okay. A lot of cards just came out. It's not a lot, Spirit. Uh, okay. Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Ooh, Five of Cups, more Scorpionic Energy. Page of Cups in Reverse. Wow, I need new glasses. And Five of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy, and Temperance in Reverse, Sag Energy. Oh, lordy. Um... This is really fragmented, out of whack, out of balanced energy here. Um, I think Spirit's really encouraging to like take your time in this rebirthing phase because you have walked away from a lot. You have dealt with purging a lot and getting rid of a lot of shit, right? That's like, this is a lot of work to do, right? In the short amount of time that, that it's being done. Um, take your time here because they're saying to, find, to like refine your balance here. To get recalibrated and get grounded again in this newer energy, I feel like you guys might feel really restless and eager to just have everything be new because you're going to feel so renewed if you're not already there yet. But take your time with this. Be gentle with yourself because there might still be some loss that you're still dealing with. Tell me more about Flamingo Spirit. Gemini energy. Okay, okay. Tell me about flamingo spirit. Tell me about flamingo spirit. Overall energy, we have two of wands in reverse, Aries energy here. Wow, this is interesting, especially ending on the lover's card. I feel like this is just like riding solo. Even though we pulled other clarifiers, it feels very separate. If Yeah, it's like they're saying, we know you're restless. We know you're eager to like have everything new and just get everything on point because you've done all this work and you've dealt with all these people or getting out of relationships or breaking away from people or breaking shit down within yourself. Like we know you've done a lot of work and you're restless to have everything new, but take your time to let that all settle. It's almost like like having surgery like if you just like went through major surgery are you gonna go out and like run a marathon no like you're going to sit down for a while <laughs> you're gonna sit down for a while enjoy recovery time yeah just to get it get it all settled in here get it all settled in of what you've just cut away from your life or the wounds and losses and emotional pain that you've dealt with okay just like just let it settle and then we've got this coming in and again, it feels very separate. And this is a transitionary card from A to B. I'm feeling like this is B and this is the A energy that you're allowing to settle. Because overall, we do have a two of wands energy in reverse about going on to the next thing, right? Of getting to, to B from A. Once you let all of this stuff to settle as you're reinvesting in yourself and what you want to do moving forward and allow those emotions to kind of wash over you, the dunking in the water is also going to be a little bit like that is what they're telling me. Like it's going to help cleanse out any remaining stuff from all of the work we've all been doing for the last couple of months to let it all like what's up just like just getting a little bit like last bits of remnant energy there because it's it's been tough it has been really tough and then point b is going to be this lover's energy whether it's just alignment within ourselves and feeling very like clean and cleansed and balanced and ready to go or an actual um uh, let me take that back or connections that are spiritually guided to us, okay? Um, you know, it's interesting because I did the Patreon weekly a couple days ago. I do it every Sunday on Patreon. Um, and in that one, there was a big message of like getting back in with your flock, like birds of a feather flock together, right? So it's like, this has been, you've been hanging out with the wrong flock, <laughs> right? You've been acting like a different flock or you've been hanging out with the wrong flock who've been wearing costumes or whatever. Um, it's time to get back to the flock of your feather, okay? The flock that is like you. And it's not to say that, you know, you need to segregate people and that person, you know, 
you want to hate on that person, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not about that. It's just about you need to be with the right people at this time. You need to finally be with the people you're supposed to be around to get on your path to go and do whatever it is you are supposed to do. Whatever your personal blueprint mission is that you are supposed to do that aligns with these people and to get away from the birds that are not part of your blueprint. Okay. Um, so anyway... Lots of messages, but I hope that you guys um, took a lot out of that. I hope it was helpful and insightful. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo, and I will see you guys later. Have a great few days. You'll see me again very soon. Oh, well, okay, hold on. Venus moves on the 7th. What's today? Oh, God, today's just the 4th. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this energy's happening really fast, really fast. Uh, I might do one on the 8th. Or the knife. I haven't decided. I'll definitely be doing another one though. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Uh, hope you have a good few days and a good night. Namaste.